Hi everyone, my name is Ditesh and today we'll be discussing about managing multiple user roles in Power BI. This is slightly advanced topic compared to the previous video on managing roles in Power BI. If you haven't watched the part one video, I would recommend you to go and watch the previous video. Now let's get started. Here is the PBX file and I'll provide you details about the data which we are using in this demo for a better understanding. Let's go to the data tab here and we have two tables, data and the maxes. The first table, that is data table, has information about sales for the fiscal year 23. And you can see we have four clients. So if I use the drop down here, BMW, Ford, Tata, and Toyota. And then these sales are further split in based on country. So we can see we have various countries listed out here. And this country is classified further as region. So we have three regions, APJ, EMEA, and, and uh, Americas. So the problem statement. We have different client manager looking after different accounts or clients. So the client manager for Ford should be able to see only the data which is related to his client. Similarly, with BMW, if he's a client manager for BMW, he should be able to see the data related to BMW. And same goes with the Toyota and Tata. If he's a country manager, he should be able to see the, all the details, all the sales revenue for his country. And if he's a regional manager, all the sales data for that particular region. And uh, there are scenarios where the client manager, he might be looking up to two different clients. Maybe I'll give you an example in this demo. And then let's see how it works. And then uh, coming to the other table, that is dim access table. So it's connected to an Excel file. So we have the list of uh, users, that is email ID, and the different uh, uh, clients which they manage. For example, David manages Ford, Rahul manages BMW, Sunil, who is a client manager, manages Tata. And as, uh, in this example, you can see Peter is a country manager for India. So all the uh, sales data related to India should appear in his Power BI when he logs into the service. And you know, Satya is a regional manager for APJ, and he should be able to see all the data related to APJ without any filter. So now using this data, let's see how we can build a row level security. If I go back to the report here and click on manage roles, I have already created a user role. The role name is user underscore roles. And if you can see the DAX expression which I have used here. So the first thing is I've created uh, three variables, one variable for region, another for country, and another one for client. So whenever the user logs into the system or the service, uh, this particular function, right, user principal name will capture his email address and it will check for this email address in the dim access table and then capture all the values uh, if, if uh, which are fed into the uh, field called region. If he's a regional manager, obviously there will be an entry, let's say APG or EMEA or Americas. Assume that he is not a regional manager, it will go, it will, uh, it will capture the uh, country country information and store this into the variable role underscore country. Same thing, if he's a client manager, it will capture his email address, look for that uh, email address in the table, the maxes table. And then if there is a value, it will store the value in the role client uh, variable. And then once we do this, then we will, it, it, it iterates through different uh, conditions. For example, it will check if he's a regional manager, Basically, we are uh, doing a count. If there is a value, then obviously the count will be greater than one, greater uh, greater than zero. If he's a country manager, obviously, the, uh, again, the count will be greater than uh, zero. And if not, then it will go to the last step, that is client manager. It will check if there is a value against the client data. And if yes, then it will it will filter for the uh, data underscore client in the data tab. So this is how uh, we apply the filter using uh, one single user role, using different variables. So now let's do a quick check against uh, my user email ID. So now if I go back to the roles here and then click on view has role, I'll select user roles. I have access only to the Toyota client. 
So when I click on OK, I should be able to see Toyota only. As you can see, I am able to see only Toyota. So now we, uh, same thing goes with other users. So let's say, assume that they log into the service and then based on the user role, they should be able to see only their, uh, their client or the country or region. So now uh, let's do one thing. Let me make the changes to my user ID. Let's say instead of Toyota, let me add in Tata and then refresh the table. Now, when I refresh the table, I should be able to see Tata because I'm adding one more entry against my email address, which is Tata. So let's check this out. So I'll just dim access, click on refresh data. So now, as you can see, I have the access to the Tata data because what I did was I just went ahead and changed the Excel template and I've added my name against uh, at Tata. So now I, I should be able to see both the accounts. I can do the same thing. I can just remove the client information and then say, let's say I need access to the India country. I can do the same thing. I can add you know, country information in front of my email address. And then the next time when I refresh this PBX file, I should be able to see the entire India country information. So this is how we can manage role level security within a single user role using the backend uh, data model. I hope this video was helpful and I'll uh, drop the syntax in the description. And if you have any questions, please drop me a note. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues. Thank you.